Hey friends, in this video today we're covering components in Jira. What are components? How do they work? And how do we use them effectively? There are so many different ways to customize projects in Jira. There's permissions and workflows and screens and fields. It can be a little overwhelming, but it's important for the users making changes or administrators to understand what options or tools they have available and when those tools are best used. So today we're helping you along on that journey and we're gonna cover one of those tools, project components. So what are components in Jira? Simply put, components are basically simple custom fields that have unique features to help you streamline your process and segment issues in your project. They actually have three features that are unique to components. One is they're project specific, meaning the values that you create for components are only applicable to one project. Also, the components can be managed independently by project administrators, and you don't need to get a system administrator involved. Another important detail or feature that these components have is that they have a dedicated component lead. You have the option to associate a specific user with any and all of your components as the component lead. And lastly, you actually have the ability with components to change the default assignee when it's created. Probably the most important question asked about components is when should we use components? Ideally, you're gonna use components to help support your process and help streamline your process. We you wanna use these components most often to signify when an issue requires different people or different skills, maybe different tools or technologies to get, complete this particular issue. When building these values, you're also gonna to wanna to consider the fact that while these values may make sense to you, you may not be the person creating these issues. So make sure that these components make sense to those people who will be creating the issues in your project. As a project administrator, you can update these components whenever you like. So keep in mind, one, um, you can change your mind. You can update these and add new components whenever you like. And two, it's the project administrator's responsibility now to ensure that this list of components stays valid and relevant for the project over time. Some examples, one, as like a functional segment of a software application. Examples here would be the user interface, the database, the API, the security features of the application. Another scenario would be to designate different technical specialties on your team, like networking, systems, software, and hardware. You can also use components to kind of tag or separate special circumstances and issues that you either want to uh, change the process around or create reporting around. Things like security review or tech debt or personal information. There are obviously going to be a lot more examples of how these components are used. But what's important are the principles here, that they make sense, that they're maintained, and they create meaningful division. Okay, let's get into building those components in Jira. Here we are in our project in Jira and are looking at our active sprint board. We can see on the left hand side that there is the components option here on the bar. Select it. It's important to remind you here that you have to be a project administrator to do this function. But if you are, all you need to do is come down here and select create component. And then you're presented with the values. We give it a name. We'll leave the description blank here. And with components, like you said, we can select different default assigning and we're going to select the component lead. You can see our new component is set up with our component lead and we will uh, create an issue real quick to see what happens. Create a new issue in our project. We're going to select a component and hit create. Check it out, we've got a database component and it assigned it directly to the component lead. And that covers it. Did we miss anything? Are you looking for more information? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, see you next time.